Good to have you with us. I'm Adam Cooperstein, and the city health department is now strongly urging New Yorkers to wear a mask again indoors in public places and even crowded outdoor areas. Now, it's not a mandate, but an advisory. Health officials are concerned here about the numbers going up as we head into the holidays. Cases of RSV, the flu, and COVID are all on the rise, part of that so-called tridemic. Right now, nine counties in New York are recommending to mask indoors under CDC guidance. And those counties include all the city, except Staten Island, Westchester, Rockland, Nassau, Suffolk, and parts of upstate. The health department is also recommending masking in schools across the state. And News 4's Mark Santia live in Midtown for us to break it all down. Mark. And Adam, as you said, important to point out, this is a recommendation, not a mandate, because of the rising number of infections. The city is recommending masks be worn again. A tridemic across the city has health officials taking to social media sounding the alarm. This tweet, a short time ago, encouraging masks be worn indoors, including offices, public transportation, and schools, in crowded outdoor settings, and if you're sick. This is a, a pretty common sense guideline. Uh, you know, if you feel sick, you should probably stay home. Um, and if you're in large groups of people, um, the way to gather safely is to do that with masks on. Dr. Eric Choi Pena is director of global health at Northwell Health. People don't like wearing face masks. We get it. People also don't like their relatives dying of COVID or dying of flu. And so that's we're balancing it. Doctors reported more than 18,000 cases of the flu in the city last week, and the rate it's spreading is alarming. We're starting to see RSV numbers drop, especially in Long Island, where they were very high, um, but but they're still high. And then we are seeing spikes in flu now. Um, and that's, um, you know, that flu is kind of making up the difference that RSV is losing. In seven days, cases in Queens have jumped 77%, with the Bronx, Brooklyn, and Staten Island up more than 50%, and Manhattan cases spiking 39%. So, unfortunately, what that means for hospitals and healthcare workers is the pressure's gonna feel pretty constant. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're taking care of a, you know, a three year old with flu or a three year old with. With RSV, it's they're, they're pretty similar diseases, and we're gonna we're gonna see kind of similar intense levels of emergency department visits and um, unfortunately hospitalizations. At the same time, the city is averaging 3,500 cases of COVID every day, a number that's increasing, with the positivity rate at 13.6 percent. Hospitalizations and deaths are down. We're gonna have to live with these viruses for a very long time, um, and once we're all vaccinated, the risk gets much lower, but. Um, you know, those that are immune compromised, they're going to be around the dinner table. You know, we're going to try and lessen the, the time that they're exposed, that they're going to be exposed to something. Again, important to point out, this is a recommendation from the city right now. This is not a mandate. We're live in Midtown. I'm Mark Santia, News 4 New York.